I am Moisel, and this year I have the privilege to be Kayasma Dunedin COO, and I'm here to share a little bit about Kayasma. So Kayasma is a national student-led organization that was originally launched in Auckland in 2004, but it has since branched out to Wellington, Christchurch, and Dunedin. So Kayasma's main goal is to bridge the gap between students, university, and so academia and the industry. And we do that ultimately through our events, which are focused on one, network making connections, networking, and two, upskilling. So why do we focus so much on networking and upskilling? Well, first, it's because networking is important. If you haven't noticed, the world is so small and an even smaller country at that, New Zealand. And the job market today is becoming less about what you know and more on who you know, which is why we think being able to build connections through our events is really valuable. Um, unfortunately, though, this year, due to COVID, we haven't been able to hold a lot of networking events, so students haven't been able to network with their peers and industry professionals. But a good example would be Synapse, which is every Chiasma branch's flag, flagship event. Um, so during Synapse, what usually happens is that we invite speakers from the industry, different industries, and we get them to answer questions that are usually sent in to us by students who sign up to the events. Usually these are job-related questions, which is good because that's what we want to know about. Um, and also in Synapse, we get representatives from different companies and we get them to have booths because we have many exhibits during Synapse. And again, that just that provides the environment for students to make connections and ask industry professionals about potential career paths out there. So um, that's a little bit about the making connections part. Equally important, we believe, is providing the students the skills that they need in order to pursue the career paths that they want. And with our upskilling events, we work a lot with Career Development Center. I think Lindley is here. Yeah, so we work a lot with Lindley, and this year, for example, we did a virtual event where Lindley talked to students about general job hunting tips. So she talked to them about the resources out there. For example, Careers Development Center. I don't think a lot of students know that it's there. Well, it's there. Um, and she also gave students tips on how to be more well-rounded, sorry, and um, proactive. And she also gave um, a brief overview on how to utilize LinkedIn, which is a really great, great platform in terms of professional networking. Um, Right, so normally we would also hold site visits, which is when we take students out from the university to a particular industry area. So this year we were thinking of going out to Ag Research in Inverme and Bliss Technologies in South Dunedin, but we had to cancel those because of COVID. So why site visits? Well, we think it's important for students to be able to see what is actually going on in a particular area because that gives them insights on how things work. So are there any other benefits from being a Chiasma member and attending our events? Well, we've had feedbacks from students and some of them have told us that by attending Chiasma events, they were able to overcome personal barriers. For example, some international students have told me that by attending our events, they have been able to make their communication skills better and also to improve their English, which is really important and awesome. So that's the bit about just being a Chiasma member and not being part of the committee. Obviously, when you're in the committee, you get to improve your leadership skills a lot. Personally, for me, for my leadership skills, being, a, being the COO this year, I learned to be more adaptable because I get to work with different committee members with different personalities and I have to handle them differently. 
yeah, <laughs> you have to be adaptable and resilient. Um, so, yeah, and also my communication skills have been better, I noticed. I'm, I really suck at public speaking, but being Kayazma, I have been, you know, pushed to go out there and speak and also communicate with potential speakers and sponsors. Genetics Otago is one. So yeah, I hoped I managed to convince you a little bit that attending Kaya's May events and being a part of the committee is worth it. And if not, I hope you still come along because we usually have food. <laughs> and yeah, I just want to thank the University of Otago and Genetics Otago for being our major sponsors this year. Our events would not have been possible without them. And in the past years, we have also been fortunate enough to partner with Pacific Edge and Emerson's for the booze, and also Petri Dish for <laughs> allowing us to use their space. And we are on Facebook and on LinkedIn. Cool. Thank you.